guys, um, welcome back to L.A. Noir. Uh, just before we start, I have to clarify a few things um, before we get going. Uh, I ended up quitting the game at the wrong place. I should have done it before I went around looking all for all the clues because I didn't pick it up. So I had to do all of this again, and I did find some things that I'd missed. Like, for example, there was supposed to be another flag on here, and it was missing. Um, and also that question that I got wrong with him, I got right this time, and he told me about the notebook that he just found. It wasn't his. Uh, yeah, anyways, um, let's get back on with the... Everything else is the same. Nothing else happened. Um, let's get back on with the mission at hand. Finding this... These rebellious Mexicans, as that guy would probably say. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, don't don't live in Los Angeles if that's your complaint. Um, anyways, let's see, people, onlookers, go away. People in quiz. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. I'm gonna make him drive because I really don't want to drive. <laughs> all right, you think um, it's been a while since I started up another session, uh, and um, I put the brightness up all the way because for some. It looked okay this on my has got to be the fiftieth abandoned vehicle. But um, it was really dark. Year. One more, and I'm gonna go uh, crazy. On the video, so I brightened cases. it up all the way, so hopefully it got you better. You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. I don't know. It might be something fishy about it because they wouldn't give us a case like this in a game like that. So it, it might just be connected in some way. I mean, it's a diplomat, right? Something must be on there. It's a bit of a rivalry between like Argentinians and the Mexicans there. Maybe that's what happened. Um, who knows? I just don't think it's a normal uh, robbery thing. I think they just wanted to make a message, perhaps. I mean, I've taken the Argentinian flag for one. I mean, that is, could obviously be taken as a message. Otherwise, why would you don't need it? Don't tell me. Right? Let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. <laughs> yeah. That's well. It. I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. Look at his We're teeth. investigating the theft feet. of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Yeah, he's a very toothy grin. Oh, what's this? I remember calling and they said something about a Packard. And it was stolen. So this might be like one of those deals where like car dealerships get people to steal cars for them so they can sell them back again. Like that sort of shady deal. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Oh, I have to put it together again. Maybe <laughs> a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Oh, that Why goes down. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is. There. <laughs> so finicky. <laughs> this one obviously goes. It, well, it's Gabriel Delgado. Delgado. Not Delgado. Oops. It's. I don't know. What the That's not right. Oh, shush. Do I look like a mechanic to you? Because I'm, I'm not. Alright. Let's put this one. No, not three fourths. I meant one half. Wrong size. I know it's the wrong size. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, this one's the biggest. Yeah. One, one left. So Paul Kradowski is obviously. Gabriel okay. Delgado is missing a three quarter. Yep. What else is beeping at me? Hmm. Oh, I don't need a hammer, do I? Maybe. If no. no. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a license plate. Oh, that's important. Not much help. What are you talking about? It was missing a license plate, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's just a random one, and not that guy's license plate. I heard it. Where is it? Oh, they're just tools. I really don't think I need any of this. And poor guy is probably gonna need Optimistic it in two seconds. <laughs> That's like a spark plug, isn't it? Or something? This isn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm no car connoisseur. Um, although these are nice cars because it is the 1940s. Um, oh hey, I'm like missing our license plate, wasn't it? No good. 
We need diplomatic flights. Okay. Well, yeah, they wouldn't put those on the wall, would they? <laughs> Why would they do that? But this car... Over there, the Packard, that seems... Oh, I was going to the vending machine for some reason. I don't know, I feel like a Cola King. It just... It, uh... It, it speaks to me. It calls out my name. I'm pretty sure that Packard there is the one we're looking for. That looks like a diplomatic car. Um, but they all kind of look very similar, don't they? Oh, I guess I'm not in the investigation area anymore. Any ideas? We'll need a full statement from Dewey to put in our report. Okay, so we, I think it's time to talk to him. Let's hope I got everything, because I didn't get everything last time. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Okay, oh. oh look at his toothy grin sketch! Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, he's not grinning now. He's looking pretty serious. <laughs> that sketch is amazing. Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Maybe I should have gone to Valdez first. That looks like the truth, though. I don't see anything. Oh, shit. So Valdez was just driving by, and he saw the car. Yeah, even something Cole like is that. like happens all the time. What? Oh no. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. Yeah, you know. I'm gonna view my notebook. I don't have anything that I can do, right? That could show, yeah. Let's let's say lie and see what that comes up with. You're lying. You've got him holed up somewhere. I'm having nothing to do with that kid. You can't prove any different. Um, yeah, his notebook. Yeah. That kid's temper's like a time. What? Off. I want nothing more to do with him or what? you. What? What? No! I don't believe that for a second. Oh no, we're not going to get anything out of him. We're going to solve this from this case. dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. I'm going to use my intuition. I am not trusting myself anymore. I'm going to doubt him. Yes, finally one, doing? right? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested so in this So it's probably place. like doubt, doubt, so doubt. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is, they're a little light-fingered. A little? We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey. And spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Yeah, because we got nothing out of that. We could have gotten like a lead. We could have probably found the kid. Now we have nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> this upsets me in so many levels. Can I just take your car? No. Oh. They've been amazing type there. Whoop. Can you drive to this one? Uh, where are we going? To the police station so we can get more information to, about the place here. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing. Was this our car? Maybe it wasn't. What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. <laughs> We're getting a Vertical bit of a lesson axis, here. Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. <laughs> God's name would want that. <laughs> I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking using color. Look what we have now. It's a bit of a tribute, I guess, to 3D movies. Maybe they're making um, a bit of a statement, a very subtle one, that they're a little bit ridiculous, which is true, they are. Are they thinking about 3D movies in the 1940s? Maybe. 
It was technically closer to the 1950s, I guess. Did we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Oh, I'm gonna sure screw this one up too. Your bird's an interview too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. Oh yeah, this he's way. a diplomat. You don't want to ever keep a diplomat. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to Waiting. stop him with one round. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. I don't know why I needed to use the telephone, but just in case, I guess. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address for a Gabriel Delgado. Delgado. Last known address has him living with a common-law wife. 103 Hill Street, Apartment 3. Okay, I got Thanks, an address. Awesome. Okay, so I can probably go there since I messed up. Oh, I guess he's an interview room chair. I wasn't paying attention. You think those vice boys oh, are on the side? Here, not the patrol room. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? You are a colorful I'm character. I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. <laughs> okay. This is going to be an interesting guy. <laughs> um, does he have green eyes? They look brown to me. Um, Where did the most important the thing. My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Um, yeah, he's not telling the truth. When you look up like that, usually you aren't. So I think he's doubting because I don't have anything else that proves it. Bought a Packard, yeah. Valdez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers, or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial ride to make a purchase yeah. at his establishment. A diplomat. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Bribery. Ooh. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consular garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't so. do that here, your worship. Uh, uh, but I honestly, I don't think it was stolen straight from the garage, because why would they put it in... Yeah, well, let me first see. I'm going to try lying and see what the reaction is. I think you know who stole the car. And why they stole it, Valdez. How dare you! If I was a younger man, I would demand satisfaction. What? And what evidence do you have that links me to the thief? Actually, I don't think I have evidence that links you to any thief. But let's see. Um. Um. No. You this don't ask, doubt. you never find out. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it was You doubt. have a pretty good idea oh, who stole God. the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy. Yeah, the, the kid we dealer. got the address from. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. Hmm. We have evidence on him, though. What's your association with so this tell guy? tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanical. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. <laughs> Being a bit, like, xenophobic there, Bukowski. Take it down a notch. Wait, what did he say? Um... Did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. Okay. I don't think I have any lie. I can lie and see if I have evidence for it. I mean, why not? 
You fuck young boys, Valdez. Oh god, no, what? Doubt him. Oh, no, so a consul truth. general gets in a public row with a junior car mechanic. You expect me to believe that that's all I don't that even happened? Care. That was amazing. I expect you <laughs> to draw your own conclusion. Oh god, I was caught so off guard. And to discontinue this aggressive behavior. No, so we'll be in true. touch, consul general. Yeah, Let's consul this kid general. Delgado, wrap this thing up. Okay. <laughs> be indecisive. No. Oh god, that was. That was amazing. <laughs> Three blondes walk into a bar. You think one of them would make it? homicide? You know you made it if you hit that desk. I thought Vice was better than homicide. Finished with Valdez. Shoot through the stars, Thank God. Man. I'll get rid of them in a couple of hours. <laughs> I want to make such a team. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Which way? Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way, right? No, what's that? Where's the way out? I'm so lost. Is it this way? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Wait, why am I in the lineup gallery? Do I, do I take a picture? How tall am I? I'd say I'm about six foot. Ah, pretty short there, Cole. I guess it's not short. It's pretty average height. No. Can, can I go through here, please? Door kept locked. Oh my god. The whole episode is going to be me trying to find my way out of this place. It's this way. It's definitely this way. Oh, there we go. Exit. God, it's like a maze in there. Unless I have a really bad sense of direction, that might change things around a bit. You drive. I need to go um, over the case notes. Let's go. All right. Where to? Let's see if we have anything new to talk to about him, about the bribery. I think we do. Let's go there. We're not done with him. Mr. Valdez moved in some first. peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. <laughs> it's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse. <laughs> because I think what like, you're trying to say is that words. lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. 